Welcome to my second short tutorial. This one is inspired by a comment on my previous video about how to animate and trigger text in Godot. The question was how the text can stop at a certain number of letters and then continue if a button is pressed. I dabbled around and I think the solution should probably be to duplicate the label to make another label and then so we can have the second part here. So we have two labels um, and then create another animation. So continue, name still doesn't really matter. And then we will do the same. So drag this to the start, percent visible to the start, whatever the duration doesn't really matter. Set this to one, do this again. So we now have the second part. And now we have two. The most of the stuff should be done in script. So we can now say we want to have the label where it's invisible is zero as well. We want to listen to the unhandled uh, key input. If the event is uh, input uh, key event, then we can say the animation player should play the continue. This is not the full solution, but I want to show the in between state. The uh, first is already triggered because we're moving. So let's say we want to trigger it only when we press space. So we have to check if uh, it's uh, action pressed, for instance, the, the space key. These names map to the stuff here in the input map, these names. So we can define actions here with keys and we can refer to them in our scripts. Now it should only be triggered when we press space, but we want to have it only trigger when we have passed this part. So uh, unhandled input is always listening. We can in the ready say set process unhandled input to false. So we don't listen. So when we now run and press space, nothing happens. And then after the animation is done we can we can yield and which means wait until the this event happens so now we wait until the animation is finished and then we can uh, set the process unhandled input to true which means now we're gonna listen if the spacebar is pressed so if we now go space doesn't work we finish the animation and now space works but space does trigger the animation all the time. So we kind of have to do the same as what we did with the area. We can say if we've pressed it, then we can stop listening. So if we run it now, space does nothing. We go through it, space does it, and then it does nothing. So this is kind of how to stop text in between. If you want to have dynamic text or stuff like that, it, it can all be scripted, but that's more complicated than just showing now. So I hope you learned something and uh, leave a comment or like or whatever and see you soon.